All right. Um, thank you, uh, everyone, and thank you, uh, Nagasawa-san, for a very uh, kind introduction. My name is Kazuto Suzuki. I am very happy to he be here in the first time in three years uh, back in New York. I used to uh, work in the uh, United Nations as a member of the panel of experts on the sanctions on Iran. So um, I am, uh, I've been uh, very uh, familiar in this uh, area of the city. And I also, I, uh, I used to live in a place uh, called the Riverdale, which is uh, north of the Bronx. So perhaps uh, some of you may have some uh, district uh, closer to, uh, to the uh, elementary school that I, I taught. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, very much for coming. And uh, I know that this is uh, election day. So uh, I am sure that you, are, you have so many things to do, uh, including watching TV. Um, but um, uh, I, I, think, uh, I think this is a uh, very good occasion to talk about uh, Japanese politics instead of American politics, so that to, to refresh, your, refresh your mind that, that there is something uh, you know, something different other than the American, uh, American politics, which is uh, uh, pretty uh, unique uh, in, uh, in many sense. But uh, also Japan's uh, uh, politics is also very unique. So what I'm trying to do here is to uh, explain, uh, uh, to introduce some of the uh, interesting features of the Japanese, uh, Japanese politics and make sure that uh, uh, you might uh, have a better understanding of uh, uh, some of the enigma of the Japanese politics. And then if the, if the time um, <clears throat> allows, I would talk about the a uh, little bit about the Japan-U.S. relationship, but I think uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Zeigenberg, uh, after the, the, my my uh, my talk, will describe more about the history of Japan uh, after World War II. So perhaps I shall remain uh, sort of a minimum on on that subject. So uh, let me just uh, uh, talk about. Uh, so mainly I'm talking about the part one of this. Uh, uh, structure since um, I only have one hour and uh, I would uh, love to have a lot of discussions and questions so uh, I'll try to uh, again uh, minimize my talk um, so I am going to uh, give some um, not exactly an answer but the one uh, interpretation of why um, LDP the Liberal Democratic Party which is a ruling party for more than 50 years of uh, Japanese politics and why LDP has been the ruling party, and there is no change of government except a very short period of time uh, between 2009 and 2012. And um, why leaders change so frequently? Well, uh, recently we had, uh, well, we had a, a, a state funeral of uh, uh, former Prime Minister Abe, and he was the longest serving Prime Minister with, who served uh, seven and a half, uh, seven and three months. So that means, uh, you know, uh, the longest serving prime minister is less than the two terms of president. Um, and uh, uh, well, the in Britain, the, the uh, there are three ministers in the last uh, one year. But uh, uh, Japan usually have a, sort of a change of prime minister of almost every year uh, before uh, Prime Minister Abe. And uh, after Prime Minister Abe, Mr. Suga was, uh, was also uh, served only one year. And uh, Mr. Mr. Kishida, current prime minister, is uh, yet uh, reached to the one year mark. So, bless you. Um, so basically, um, th there are certain reasons why the prime minister's position is so frequently changed and why prime minister is so weak. Also, I would uh, uh, comment a little bit about uh, Japanese um, <coughs> politics in, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the context of the Japan-U.S. relationship. But let me start just saying that why uh, LDP has been always uh, in power. And uh, that's, that has been an enigma of the Japanese politics. And one of the... Uh, 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 explanation of why the uh, LDP is not the um, well, well LDP has been the, in power 
is the legacy of Chu Senkyoku or mid-size uh, mid uh, 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 electoral uh, district, and uh, which allows uh, three to five candidates to be passed in the one uh, constituency. So this is uh, uh, quite uh, different from the American system, which is usually the first past post wins the, and the winner takes it all. And that is not the case in Japan for many years, and which has changed, uh, I'll explain that in 1993, but even after the 1993 electoral reform, the system remains very strongly as the cultural and structural uh, framework. So uh, legacy of Chusen Kyoku is uh, one of the reasons why Japan, Japanese politics is so um, stable in a better sense, not dynamic in the negative sense. And also there is a, a system of the clan politics uh, that I'll, I'll explain that a little bit later, but um, this is um, uh, the, 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 because of the Chusenkyoku system, the LDP politicians get around in the groups and form a clan and this clan is functioning as a sort of a quasi party within the party. And change of clans or change of power among the clans has been considered as a sort of a quasi change of government. So that the uh, people, the Japanese citizens, find that there, there is an expectation of the change of clan as the, some sort of a, a, a change of course of policies. And also there is a, a political division around the constitution rather than the economic issue. And this is also very um, different from the uh, US or any other European uh, democratic countries that the Japanese politics has always been centered around the constitution, which is currently changing, but uh, largely still remains as a central, the central issue has always been the constitutional reform. And then the Iron Triangle. This is another format of the relationship between the business, politics, and bureaucracy. And this Iron Triangle is also functioning as the, as the iron bed of the Japanese uh, politics, and which is currently changing because of the globalization and the intensified um, uh, international competition, particularly with regard to the uh, competition with China. But uh, the Iron Triangle still remains to some extent as an influence of the businesses in, uh, in, uh, in the politics. And therefore, there is a certain element of this uh, 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 relationship or the very strict relationship between the LDP businesses and the bureaucracy. So uh, let me just uh, go through the, some of the points that I like to make. The first is the legacy of Chu Senkyoku. The idea of Chu Senkyoku is that uh, a, the one district, uh, there are three to five candidates pass the, uh, uh, the election from one district, which means that um, it is uh, rather difficult to have the sort of a two-party systems like the United States, like you know, Democrats and the Republican, but it encourages for the multi-party system because there, there is always a chance for the smaller parties to get the uh, seats in the diet. Diet is a parliament in Japan. <laughs> and, um, and this, if you want to have a majority, in the diet, uh, you need to have a multiple candidates in the one district. So that means, you see, the, there are um, red party, um, sort of a, a light blue party, and the blue party. And there are three different parties here. And if you want to, to win the majority, you need to have a multiple uh, candidates in one district. So in this case, red party A and C win the, the, uh, the election, and also the uh, uh, candidate B pass. So if you do that in all constituencies, all the districts, then you get the majority. I mean, the red get majority, right? 
So in order to get the majority, you need to have a multiple, uh, multiple uh, candidates in, in one district, which means that A and C belongs to the same party, but competes each other in the one district. So this makes a crazy situation that you have to, on the one hand, you have to um, demonstrate that you are working for the party and this party promotes you know, this and that policies. But on the other hand, you have to make a distinction between A and C. So this situation creates the, um, <coughs> the candidates, individual candidates will have uh, will appeal to the electorates as the personal benefit for them to you know, be elected. So candidate A will say, if I'm elected, I will build a bridge here. I will, uh, I will uh, fix the problem of the schools here. And, uh, you know, and the candidate C says, okay, if I'm elected, I'm going to fix the road here, etc., etc." So there are sort of competition, not the ideas, not the policies, but the benefits. And that creates the situation where the individual candidates needs to have a connection with the businesses, connection with the central bureaucracy, which gives the licenses and authorization, etc. And then you need to have the sort of a, a bosses because you know A and C may be a sort of a young candidates. They may not be p powerful in the central, uh, you know, central government in Tokyo. So these A, C would have someone to surrogate their power in, uh, in Tokyo and to make those you know, big bosses to work for the benefit of A or C. So in that sense, this would create the situation that a, C, A and C belong to the different clans or different groups and different bosses. So there are multiple bosses in the LDP and the multiple bosses will have certain power to push the bureaucrat bureaucrats to, uh, to give uh, sort of a license quicker or to put the uh, national budget for the particular district or you know, um, you know, doing the favor for either A or C. And the bosses compete each other to whether to bring the better package for the A or C, not as a package of policies, but a package of this distribution of the, of the, of the uh, budget or licenses. So these, um, these are the reason why the LDP has been very powerful because the opposition, which doesn't have the access to the national uh, bureaucracy, which doesn't have the national, you know, the control over the national budget, will have much weaker position in this situation. And therefore, the parties, the red parties, have more advantages and very, you know, a continuous supply of the benefit for the constituencies so that they will get a better responses from the, uh, from the uh, constituents. The problem also of the, of the Chusen Kyoku is that if you see the numbers, you know, if there is 100% uh, votes and the candidate A takes 30, B 25, C 20, D uh, 15 and uh, E 10, then the minimum that you need is just only 20% of the votes. That means, you know, if you have a first past post system, like in the United States, you need to have a 50%, right? Or 51% or anything that goes beyond the 50%, right? But in case of Japan, you don't need a 50%. You don't need to get the majority. You, all you need is to have a fixed vote that goes like 20%, or well, it, it varies, number, you know, it depends on the number of candidates, it depends on the, uh, you know, the uh, turnouts, but basically 20% is not that difficult. You know, 
if you have if you provide uh, enough benefit for let's say you know certain groups of uh, of businesses like uh, you know uh, you you fix the bus station and that will give a benefit for the bus drivers right so you get the lots of votes from a bus driver or bus company or whoever that works for the for the transportation industry. So that already makes a sort of a very large push portion of the, uh, of the electorates. And so these combination of the, you know, the, the uh, links to the budget licenses through the big bosses will make these candidates more powerful and, and establish some sort of a, a fixed uh, a relationship with a certain industry and that will guarantee these candidates will receive certain number of votes which will make them easier to pass the you know 20 percent or some sort of a threshold which goes with which makes them uh, as a winner in this district uh, in the in the this three you know five horse races and you you know, at least get the third position. So this is the problem, well, this is the Chu uh, Kyoku legacy, and even though this has changed in 1993, the links between the candidates and the bosses remains, although the <coughs> uh, this is no longer the case for the A and C compete each other because the current system is fast passport system, so um, <clears throat> the Chu Senkyoku uh, uh, style has has changed uh, according to the change of the rules, but the this remains pretty much in the basis of the Japanese uh, politics. So the clan politics is about a group with a big boss, and there are multiple big bosses and try to be the prime minister. So there is a competition of the powerful politicians uh, among the uh, LDP, and this LDP competition creates the certain level of the situation for, from the big boss perspective. To have a, you know uh, to have a bigger group is better, because you know in the LDP leadership camp, leadership competition, the LDP. Uh, diet members, the parliamentarians, have the votes. And they, you know, if the big boss wants to be a prime minister, they want, you know, they want to have a bigger group to pass the, um, the leadership, candidate, or leadership competition in the LDP. And the LDP competition, because there are multiple big bosses, there is always a uh, uh, strategy of coalition, you know, no single candidates can can be outstanding in this sort of a rather stable, fixed group mechanism. So usually, you need to have the candidates of the you know big boss candidates for the party leadership to form the alliance with, let's say, the first and the third and fourth group get together. And then the person who passed, uh, who, who elected as a prime minister, or the party leader equals prime minister, will give the post for those allies uh, in, the, in the party leadership competition. So if there is a chance that candidate won, I, I tried to avoid the UCAB, uh, uh, not to, to, to make a distinction from this uh, the, the former slide. So candidate one is the most powerful one, and candidate two, three, four, five are competing each other. And then the candidate one makes uh, candidate three and four and makes a coalition to pass the um, leadership competition. Then the candidate one becomes a prime minister, but the candidate three will get a very heavy post like uh, Minister for Finance or Minister for uh, Economy, Trade and Industry or Minister for Foreign Affairs. 
So these are the distribution of the benefit for these competitors or rivals and to make the party system sustainable and uh, stable. So the rivals get onto the same cabinet and they would uh, and this uh, and they would agree that you know they, they form the agreement when they make the alliance uh, for the uh, for the uh, um, for the competition of the party leadership and the this group um, the largest group the candidate one will have the power. So uh, Mr. Kishida is the leader of the Kishida faction, uh, Kishida clan, and this is a tradition of the uh, a group called Kochikai. Kochikai is the sort of a group of the uh, very technocratic, uh, more dove, you know, peaceful. Uh, uh, a group in the LDP who loves to, uh, you know, who tend to uh, refrain from changing constitution. And the Mr. Abe, uh, on the other hand, was the uh, group leading, uh, Mr. Abe's group is and was and is still the largest faction, largest clan, and called Seiwakai, which is the very hawkish, and a very um, aggressive in terms of the changing constitution. So there are different, uh, different clans have a different political tendencies. And ever since, because of this co making a coalition, sometimes, you know, the Sewakai, the Mr. Abe, and the coach guy, Mr. Kishida, form an alliance to make a balance. Uh, and in order to get the uh, um, get the, the leader past the um, <clears throat> past the leadership competition. So these are the basically um, uh, the sort of a practices of the LDP, and um, LDP often uh, makes those uh, very uh, strange coalitions. And in the past, when the LDP was a little, you know. What was about to go in minority, the LDP formed the coalition with the um, Socialist Party, which is totally opposite to the LDP in 1990s. Um, so LDP is pretty much a party of power. LDP are not uh, driven by the idea, policies, but the power to maintain or to retain the power, retain the prime ministerial post is the prim primary and ultimate objective of the LDP so that it is, you know, they would accept the variety of uh, compromise, compromises with the opposition parties and, and, uh, and, and the compromises within the party uh, factions. And um, uh, so far, I think I've uh, already covered uh, uh, so many positions. Yes, the ministerial position is the most beneficial and um, uh, uh, and the juicy bits of the uh, being a politician because the politicians will have the uh, power to control over the policies. Not only the policies, but also the links with the uh, with the businesses, and to um, to provide the sort of uh, 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 benefits for the candidates uh, in in their subordinates. So, <coughs> if they are uh, if they are in the ministerial position, they would distribute those uh, uh, you know uh, uh, budgets and and makes them. To um, to be electable to in in their district, so that there is a mutual benefit between the young candidates and the big bosses. So big boss wants to have a ministerial position, so that they need to have a you know a larger group uh, beside them, and the younger candidate will have a benefit of the you know uh, tugging this 
you, uh, the benefit of the budget and, and so on and so forth. And one of the problem for the ministerial position or distribution of the ministerial post is that there is a, always a limit of the ministerial post. So in order to satisfy everyone, you need to have a reshuffle of the cabinet for no reasons but to make everyone gets the seat. So this is the reshuffling and make sure that um, you know, uh, um, everyone gets the ministerial post so that the distribution of, the, uh, of this power will be, um, will be guaranteed. So, uh, and this is the sort of a usual cycle of one year. And uh, uh, a prime minister often under pressure from the other members or the coalition allies within the party to, uh, <clears throat> to do the ministerial reshuffle almost every year to make sure that everyone gets the, some seat. So some people which are very heavyweight and the uh, friends and allies of the prime minister remain in the post for a longer time, like uh, Mr. Aso, who is a uh, uh, vice uh, prime minister, and he has been in the power for many years. And um, uh, currently, like uh, uh, Mr. Hayashi, who is a uh, foreign minister, is also very powerful in the Kochikai, the Kishida's faction. And so uh, Kishida wants, to, wants him to be in the, in the cabinet and um, in a major post like a uh, uh, foreign minister. So this happens, but the Kishida, even if even he was uh, he he served prime minister less than one year. He already shuffled the uh, ministerial posts once um, because of the perhaps you know that the uh, 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 scandal of the unification church, uh, which is the Korean-based uh, um, uh, religious group, and which helped the um, a variety of ways to. Um, <coughs> Uh, to elect uh, to to support LDP and uh, one of um, person who killed uh, the uh, who killed the prime minister former prime minister Abe was uh, a son of the uh, the uh, believer of the Unification Church and and uh, and ever since the this uh, terrorist attack of the of killing the uh, Abe was. Re revisiting the uh, the problem of the link between the church and uh, and the LDP, but that's the other story, so I'm not going into that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so Prime Minister Kishida has already made this shuffle, and it's not because of the satisfaction of the other members, but the you know he didn't do just only you know uh, reshuffle of the people who have the link with the Unification Church, but uh, he did uh, sort of a, uh, a, a large-scale uh, reshuffle of the cabinet because, you know, to, to provide the opportunities for everyone to be in the seats of the ministerial post. So, uh, and also uh, trying to uh, stabilize his, uh, his cabinet position uh, and to make sure that, it, you know, that uh, Japanese people would be um, happy with the much more stability. So anyway, um, so shuffling the, the uh, ministerial post is important for for the sustainability of the prime ministership and uh, even Prime Minister Abe, who has been in the power of prime ministership for uh, seven and three months, uh, he did the at least five times. Um, uh, of the uh, reshuffling. So it's again following the sort of a tradition of uh, reshuffling every, every year. So um, <clears throat> the other question uh, is that why oppositions are so weak uh, in the Japanese politics? Um, as I described, the, the uh, Japanese politics is all about uh, it's not about the policies, it's not about the distribution of wealth, it's not about the big government, small government, it's not about the, um, you know, uh, 
tax, you know, higher tax, lower tax kind of thing. Um, the Japanese politics has always been the centered around the whether you change the constitution or not. And the opposition has, um, has put their policies uh, up in front uh, to prevent the uh, uh, change of coalition. So major oppositions like the Socialist Party during the Cold War and currently the Constitutional uh, Democratic Party are both um, uh, party of the protection of the Constitution. And the major objective of them is not aiming the taking the majority of the diet. Um, at some point, there was a, a slight um, exceptional case in 2009 when the opposition party tried to capture the majority and uh, because of the, uh, a, a, a series of uh, failure of the LDP policies and the series of uh, scandals, etc. So the LDP was the weakest in 2009. So the uh, the opposition find opposition found that there was an opportunity to take over the power in 2009. But the opposition uh, DPJ, the Democratic Party of Japan, took over the uh, power, but it didn't last more than three years. Well, more. Uh, well, it lasts more than three years. It uh, it lasted uh, three years and a half, but um, but basically uh, it was a disastrous failure because they were not prepared. They don't have the clear idea of what kind of uh, politi politics they have uh, they have to uh, 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 they have to conduct. They don't know how power works. They don't know how to. Um, <clears throat> how to communicate with the bureaucrats, how to use those budgets. It, because it has been always the LDP which dominated the uh, relationship between the politics and the bureaucrats, politics and the budget. And so this uh, uh, three years and a half of the uh, powers in the opposition was not really successful. And um, at the end of the day, this became as a traumatic experience for the uh, oppositions um, and it gives a sort of a uh, stigma, stigma that the opposition party will not be able to govern. And that is one of the reasons why the Abe was so long to be uh, prime minister right after the collapse of the uh, DPJ's government and the Abe took over and he was able to continue for a long time serving prime minister, longest serving prime minister because uh, everyone wanted to have the sustainability in the politics and the governance. So that was the basic uh, uh, background. And, uh, and the reason why the, uh, the DPJ was so not so good at the governing was because they have always focused on the constitutional issue and not prepared for the governments. And um, <clears throat> so that, so these uh, uh, three and a half years since 2009 to 2012 was the one of the uh, uh, evidence that the um, opposition was not prepared. And they, what, so what they prepared and what they did was basically, A, um, they are not aiming for the majority. They tried to prevent the LDP to move on to the uh, constitutional change. So a constitutional change requires a two-thirds majority of both lower house and the upper house. So it is a very tough to get to this point. And Abe once did, he did, but uh, uh, still he was not able to change the constitution because of the uh, uh, very strong opposition from the party within and also from the uh, uh, public in general. So um, even the people like Abe, who are very, very enthusiastic of the changing constitution, were not able to do that. And it was largely the success of the oppositions who continuously uh, claiming to, uh, to prevent 
the change of constitution and the and to uh, uh, prevent LDP to gain two-thirds majority on the both house both chambers and um, <clears throat> And also, the uh, opposition uh, regard themselves as a checking party, which means to check what uh, 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 LDP does and try to prevent the LDP to go further and to remain the LDP within the certain you know, constitutional constraints and, uh, and to make sure that you know, uh, it, it will not uh, go uh, too much for their own interest. Again, uh, because of the Chu Senkyoku system, um, <clears throat> the, there is a potential for the corruption, potential for the uh, sort of a, 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 a over intimacy with the businesses, and uh, there is always a scandal of the uh, uh, of the corruption, but. Most of the cases, the uh, opposition are, you know, opposition regard themselves as a uh, as their role as the uh, a checking party, which means that you know it's a barking dog, uh, and to make sure that you know uh, they uh, the LDP doesn't go further. So um, there is a, some sort of a, a mutual dependence of the LDP and uh, and the opposition. Because the LDP can go further as long as the opposition would not say no. So the you know the opposition is uh, is setting some sort of a uh, moral ethical limits of what LDP can do, and the LDP is looking at this you know trying to see the draw you know how to draw a line between what is good and what is bad. So opposition are considered to be a sort of a guardian of this uh, sort of a goodwill. And the consciousness, and the LDP is therefore can uh, move on to uh, to pursue their own quest for the power. And often uh, LDP makes a, a, a lot of concessions with the uh, opposition parties. So if you look carefully about the LDP po uh, policies, particularly when it comes to the welfare policy. It is uh, it is obvious that the Japanese um, <clears throat> the LDP is not like a Tea Party in the United States. It's not cons it's conservative, but it's not like a small, uh, low taxes, less spending parties. The LDP is the big party, uh, lower taxes but higher spending uh, party, and this is <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this creates a very sort of a, 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 a very unique situation of the Japanese debt situation. The Japanese public debt is beyond 210% of the Japanese GDP, which is far beyond any other OECD countries. And this is a huge uh, debt, but these huge debts were accepted because of the Japanese economic uh, capabilities and the potentials, and also the, you know, the uh, market sees the Japanese taxation level is so low that there is a possibility that the Japanese uh, <coughs> government will be able to raise taxes. And so that, uh, you know, these debt may be um, paid back because of the, you know, if the Japanese government decide to raise taxes. But the Japanese government don't because, um, <coughs> Because of the opposition party, and because the um, still you know there is a, a relaxed fiscal policy of the uh, uh, of the government, be, um, because the um, Japanese government or uh, Japanese social security spending is uh, growing bigger and bigger because of the uh, aging society. The Japanese society, uh, the 35% 30, of the Japanese population is over 65, and the, um, the amount of the spending for the uh, social security is getting bigger and bigger. 
one third of the Japanese uh, uh, government spending, well, one fourth of the Japanese government spending goes to the social security, and uh, uh, and one fourth of the Japanese uh, government spending goes to paying back the public debt. So um, the reason why the Japanese interest rate is so low um, be is because the uh, Bank of Japan is afraid of raising interest rate as which would have a significant impact on the uh, on the uh, 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 Japanese uh, budget the government budget because it will increase the amount of spending for paying back the public debts so um, if the and because of the low interest rate in Japan and a high interest rate in the United States, which creates the situation where the US dollar is such strong uh, currency against the Japanese yen, and the Japanese yen is depreciated. So this is a time that you visit Japan because Japan is on the bargain. So um, anyway, um, the other part of uh, uh, the part I like to talk about is the Iron Triangle. Iron Triangle is the sort of a combination of the LDP, Zoku Gin, which is a Zoku is the group or clan, and that is the uh, 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 group of politicians which have the uh, sort of a, uh, a speciality or the special interest in the in the particular policy area, and the uh, MAFF. This is a Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and the Fishery. Uh, this is the Ministry of Agriculture. And the JA is the Japan Agriculture. This is a sort of a farmer's association. And this is a triangle. And I'm just taking the agriculture as an example, but it happened for many other uh, businesses like uh, uh, transportation, uh, retail, whatever. Um, so ministry have the power to give the um, decide the price or to give the licenses to the businesses. Business will have the votes, bring the vote as a, as a collective group. So farmers, the JA will act as a political uh, lobby to, uh, to collect the votes, to support particular um, Zokugin or the uh, LDP politician who supports the um, agricultural issues. And then the, uh, LDP Zokugin put pressure on the Ministry of Agriculture to give certain, you know, price or licenses or something. So this is the triangle, and these relationship with the full-time farmers and the part-time farmers, there there are certain interests um, shared among the. Um, uh, shared uh, through these uh, triangles. So basically, the politicians have sustainable relationship with the businesses so that the certain business group will provide votes and remind you that this, is, this was the, during the Chu Senkyoku system. So you only need 20% of the votes for passing the election so that if you have the, you know, uh, uh, 100% farmers votes for one particular uh, candidate, then that would already make a, a large portion of this 20%. So that will makes uh, that will make a lot of uh, you know uh, security for the uh, politician, but also this is a fertile ground for the corruption. So there are lots of uh, corruption, and this is where the opposition comes in. Opposition is checking all these transactions and make sure that. The uh, you know LDP is not doing something wrong or something uh, stupid or something you know uh, uh, to to distort the system. So perhaps uh, I sh I don't have enough time for the going into the Japan U.S. relationship, but I think um, you know this is election day, so I I I rather focus on this uh, party uh, issues. Um, um, the Change of election in election election, uh, election system in 1993 has been a very important change from Chusenkyoku to Shosenkyoku, which means the first possible system. And 
that will change the clan politics because they no longer the the you know candidate needs the big boss to distribute or dis distribute the benefits like licenses or, or fundings or budgets, but the link between the prime minister or the party leaders and the candidate becomes so straightforward. So the can the um, <coughs> the party becomes as a one single entity to fight in the each constituencies because because fast possible system there'll be no multiple candidacy in one district. So in one district, one party represents one, you know, uh, one candidate. And this one candidate needs to have the sort of a direct contact with the prime minister. So the link between the party leader is more important. In that way, you have more stronger incentive to put the, your bosses into the party leadership. Because if you have the direct link with the, with the party leader who eventually become as a prime minister, will have more direct say and direct link uh, to distribute the wealth and the, and the licenses and etc. So, so the candidate will, will be able to provide the benefits for the uh, constituencies. There will be, so the clan system remains, but not as the sort of, a, you know, the previous, how previous things worked. It is more designed to compete in the party leadership. And also, the, uh, it is also important, even if you are not in the same clan as a prime minister, but still you have to, you have to uh, compete in the constituency with the party policies and the party policies becomes more important. So the party becomes more policy oriented rather than the interest oriented. So, so the, this change of ele uh, election system will give um, the change of nature of the parties and this would create the further separation of the opposition party. LDP remains as a one, you know, one piece in a big piece, but the smaller opposition are now fluctuated because they have to compete based on the policies rather than just saying against the ch constitutional change. So they have to provide and different, con different fraction, fractions of the opposition saying a different things. So some of them are more, you know, lower taxes, lower spending. Some of them are much more higher spending, higher, you know, more, more welfare state kind of policies. And the constitutional uh, Democrats and the national Democrats are now, you know, the, the former Democratic Party of Japan is now separated into two. And there are new um, sort of uh, uh, parties which, uh, which are now competing in a smaller sense. And the reason why this is possible is because the, the electoral change, uh, uh, the change of the electoral system from Chusekyoku to Shosenkyoku associated with the proportional uh, electoral system. So it, the current system is a combination of the 300 seats for the first class vote system and the 150 seats for the proportional representation. So even the smaller parties can get either one or two seats, you know, um, and the sum of the opposition may have 10, 20 seats. So the Communist Party, the Constitutional Democrats, the National Democrats, etc., are now being, um, you know, uh, be able to be in the parliament so that there is the, the, this is, this system encourages more for focusing on the policies rather than just, you know, to, to stick with the principle of the, you know, preventing the change of constitution. So, um, and that sort of a party orientation has changed for, from the interest oriented or the ideology oriented to more policy oriented. It is very important that the party leaders 
will have the clear vision and the party leaders will be able to form the sort of a, a, a competent policies. And that is creating, uh, that is asking the politicians to be more, more sensitive about the policies and more, more keen on understanding the situation, you know, the international relations or the situation in the elderlies or, you know, all the policy issues. And that is changing the dynamics of the uh, party politics and the personality of the leaders are now being, uh, being contested because, you know, the Abe was more, um, more um, enthusiastic of the change of constitution, but he was also very uh, widely accepting the different ideas. Whereas the Kishida is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, you know, very strict minded so that he doesn't listen too much about the other uh, politicians. So these, uh, you know, uh, the personality of the leadership is now being contested in the media and, uh, and the, the, the weight of this personality becomes more important. In the past, it was easier because every year there is a change of prime ministership and largely because of the distribution of post. But today, the party, a party leader is the face of the party to fight in the election. And one of the reasons why Suga, which uh, came in, print, uh, in primary, prime ministership after Abe, uh, stands only one year, is because of the COVID, because, uh, because of the, his failure of communicate with people about the various things, including the uh, COVID situation and, uh, and the Olympics. And so Suga was sort of, he pulled down by the party members because he cannot win the election because he, his communication was not really good with the, you know, connecting with the, with the electorate. So basically, you know, Suga had a very good policy. He's a policy guy. So he had um, a very good policy programs, but uh, these are not really um, uh, uh, reflected on the party politics uh, because of the, his personality. So um, finally, um, the link with the uh, um, uh, Japan-U.S. relationship. The Japan-U.S. relationship has, um, has stable um, than ever more stable than ever. And uh, it is largely because of the common enemy, China, and, uh, and because of the, uh, the, the, uh, this change of the electoral system. That creates the stability of the leadership and that will create more power to the party leaders. Because of the change of the system, there is no competition of the big bosses the, you know, the candidates are, who has the policies will have the more power and the concentration of power will create them to be more stable. And uh, this is one of the reasons why Abe was successful in making the relationship, good relationship with Donald Trump, uh, which was very tough, I know, but, uh, but he made, uh, uh, his personality was also, you know, synchronized with uh, uh, Mr. Trump, but um, but also, I think it provides a very uh, good stability of the Japanese politics, which gives more uh, easier ground for the uh, United States, uh, United States to work together with Japan and to to foster and develop the the policy further. So um, I only have five minutes, so um, I'll just stop here and take some questions. So thank you very much for listening and uh, looking forward.